pandemic is drastically changing how our children learn. Local 12's Katherine Robinson is taking a closer look at some serious concerns from parents and what professionals say you can do to help. Katherine. Hey mom, can you help me with this real quick? It's the scene playing out in homes across the region. Kitchens becoming classrooms, laptops, the new notebooks. But this doesn't paint the full picture of what families are facing in this pandemic. It takes a, a, a huge toll on their mental state. Danielle Maxwell is a witness to her daughter's growing anxieties while learning online. Both girls are in middle school. One has a learning disability. She was incredibly anxious all the time, wanting to get back to school physically in person. So then that way her teachers can really read the room, read her body language. She has sometimes has a problem of expressing what she needs. Dr. Christy Hardwick is a child and adolescent therapist. She says kids are struggling with the challenges they're facing while trying to learn in a pandemic. The inconsistency switching between remote and in-person schooling doesn't help. A lot of anxiety, a lot of sadness, um, a lot of distress just over, yeah, the um, uncertainty of it all, the back and forth. But this isn't just taking a toll on their mental health and social well-being. If you're virtual all day or that transition back and forth, it is so difficult. You know, I don't know how much the kids are actually absorbing. Maxwell considers her family lucky. She's noticing a difference in her daughters who are back to learning five days a week in person at St. Pius X. That's something Boone County school parents like Aaron Gillum are fighting for. We need them there getting proper schooling. And the longer we put this off, the larger this ripple effect is. We can't just keep pushing kids forward that have effectively lost a year of school at this point in time. Maxwell and Gillum are not alone. A Pew Research study shows a majority of parents of K through 12 students who are getting at least some online instruction are concerned their children are falling behind. I have toyed with the idea of even putting the kids in summer school just to prepare them for the next year so they don't fall behind. If you are a parent, here's what you can do right now. Dr. Hardwick says you need to be having conversations around the table with your kids to help normalize some of these emotions. They are feeling things that are related to grief and loss. And while kids are resilient, these are tough emotions that they are dealing with and they really need to be addressed now. Dr. Hardwick also says that kids see what you are feeling as well. So you need to have those conversations with yourself as well to make sure you are healthy for your kids and that will in turn help them. Sheila. Catherine, thank you. Dr. Christy Hardwick also encourages parents to find professional help for support, especially if you notice any big changes in your kid's mood or behavior. You can find more information about the Lindner Center of Hope at local12.com.